So you're working in your new RPG game, in fact any game with shooting mechanics, however killing enemies looks like this. Yeah, I know, so boring. Anyways, we need to spice it up and add some blood. Welcome to this new video by the gamesmith. We'll head to our hierarchy and create a new unity particle system and call it blood. Now in the inspector we'll change the duration to 0.5, the start lifetime to also 0.5, the start speed again 0.5 and then for the start size we will make it a random between two constants, setting those constants to be 0.2 and 0.25. After that, we will head to emissions and then we will be adding an emission by clicking this plus icon and changing the count to 10. Actually, you can try any value here, however, I found 10 to be the most suitable one. Now we'll head to shape. Change the shape to sphere. Now we will head to texture sheet animation, activate it, and then change the mode to sprites. Then adding the sprite we have. Now we'll go to size over lifetime and changing it to be this decreasing curve. Now close it and close everything. And head to the top and uncheck looping. Now create a prefab for the blood by dragging and dropping it into the assets folder and removing it from the scene. All we have left now is to go to the script and activate that effect whenever an enemy dies. So we will head to the script in which we have the enemy death and we will be calling it with that. For me it's a short script, for you it might be different. Once it's open in Visual Studio, we will be declaring a new public game object and calling it blood. Then we will call it in the on trigger function. So instantiate blood at our current position, so transform.position with no rotation, which means Quatrinian dot identity. Save the script and head back to Unity. Once we're back in Unity, we will need to go to our short prefab. Again, it might be different in your game depending on the scripts. Now, once inside the short prefab, we will drag the blood effect to the blood field in the script. Now, run the game and you will find that everything is working perfectly. However, there's a small problem at the moment, and it will only be seen if we exit the full screen mode. Now in the hierarchy, you will see that whenever we kill an enemy, the blood effect will still have an instance loaded in the game. And as the number of enemies increases, this will definitely slow down the performance of the game. So we need to fix it. To do so, we will create a new c -sharp script and we will call it Blood Destroyer. And open it in Visual Studio. We'll start by removing the start function as we will not be using it in the script. In the update function, all we have to do is to call a destroy function to destroy our game object, however we will add a time which will be 3 frames. Now save the script, return back to Unity and add it to the blood effect. Now run the game and you will find that whenever we kill an enemy, the blood effect will be played and at the same time after 3 seconds the instance of it which is created in the scene will be destroyed, so not affecting the performance. If you learned something new today, 
please give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. This is the Gamesmith, and as usual, see you in the next one.